Hello everyone. The title of this talk is Using Intersection of Unions for Minimizing Multidirectional Linearization Error in Reachability Analysis. This is joint work with Intradil Saha at IIT Kanpur. In this work, I'm going to discuss a new algorithm for over approximating reachable sets of nonlinear systems. The algorithm tackles the issue of efficiently dividing reachable sets in piecewise linearization based reachability analysis. A nonlinear system is a system where the state evolves according to the given equation. In this equation, xt is the state of the system at any given time t, ut is the input to the system, and f is a nonlinear function, which is typically composed of smooth functions like trigonometric functions, polynomials, or inverse functions. The difference between the state of the system at any given time t and the initial state x0 is computed by the given integral. This is an example of the nonlinear dynamics of a platoon of two cars. The state is 12 dimensional and encodes the horizontal displacement, steering angle, velocity, yaw angle, rate of change of yaw angle, and slip angle of both the cars. The vector field F is composed of trigonometric functions, polynomials, and inverse functions. The set of reachable states of a nonlinear system at a time t is a set of states xt, where x is a state trajectory of the system, such that the initial state x0 belongs to psi. We consider the problem of computing bounds on the projection of the reachable set at any given time t. Let us consider that we are given a vector field f, a set of possible inputs u, and a set of initial states psi. We are also given a sequence of time intervals. For a given direction vector p, we want to compute the maximum of p transpose xt, where x is the trajectory of the system, such that x0 belongs to psi. The reachable set of a linear system at any given time t is convex. This set can be approximated very accurately using genotopes. A genotope is a set of points described as linear combination of vectors where the combining coefficients are bounded within unit intervals. A very efficient algorithm for over approximating reachable sets of linear systems using genotopes was described by Anthos Girard in a 2005 paper. Unlike linear systems, accurately approximating reachable sets of nonlinear systems is computationally very hard. This is because the reachable sets of nonlinear systems are non convex, which are computationally very hard to approximate in higher dimensions. Furthermore, computing accurate bounds of nonlinear functions is known to make NP hard problems. An often used approach in nonlinear reachability analysis is to over approximate the nonlinear dynamics by linear dynamics and subsequently over approximate the reachable sets of the nonlinear system by the linearized system. For all times t in zero comma tau, and for all trajectories x, so that x zero belongs to psi, we say that the nonlinear function value f of x t comma u t can be over approximated by the linear function value a times x t plus b times u t plus v t, where v t belongs to w, if f of x t comma u t is a subset of a times x t plus b times u t plus the set of all possible values in w. In this case, the set of reachable states of the nonlinear system at a time t within the time interval 0 comma tau can be over approximated by the reachable sets of the linear system at time t. For very small time interval size tau, if the set of initial state psi is a box and the linearization error w is approximated by a box, then we can show by Taylor's theorem that the side lengths of the linearization error w are an increasing function of the side lengths of the initial set psi. So this means that we can reduce the linearization error in reachability analysis by dividing the initial set into smaller pieces and performing linearization around each of the smaller pieces. For a division vector d, where each component of t denotes the number of divisions across each axis, an upper bound on the linearization error as a function of d is given in this following formula. According to this formula, we can reduce the linearization error by increasing the division vector d. But we cannot use arbitrarily large division vectors to reduce the linearization error 
because of limited computational resources. So we need to intelligently choose a division vector that best minimizes the linearization error. This means that we need to use optimization so as to find a good division vector. However, the linearization error is a multidimensional set. So we have different functions describing the projection of the linearization error along different directions as a function of the division vector. This is illustrated in the given formula. So the problem of optimizing the division vector becomes a multi-objective problem for multiple projection directions H. So while optimization, when you don't get a single optimal solution, but a set of Pareto optimal solutions corresponding to different projection directions. This leads us to a dilemma of how to choose one optimal solution among the set of Pareto optimal solutions. This example illustrates the multi-objective optimization issue in the case of two-car Plato model. The function f7 is only a function of y3, y4, and y6, while the function f1 is only a function of x3, x4, and x6. This means that if you want to reduce the linearization error along x7 direction, then we only need to divide across y3, y4, and y6 axis. On the other hand, if you want to reduce the linearization error along x1 axis, then we only need to divide across x3, x4, and x6 axis. On the other hand, we cannot divide across all six axes combinedly because it can square the computational complexity. To address the issue of having to choose from multiple division vectors for different objective functions, in the paper, we propose a solution that tries to incorporate different types of divisions instead of taking a single type of divisions. Our idea is to intersect the reachable sets from uh, different optimized divisions. Let us consider different optimized divisions of the reachable set at any given time point. We compute the forward reachable set through piecewise linearizations corresponding to different optimized divisions. Then we intersect the reachable sets corresponding to different piecewise linearizations to get an intersection of union of reachable sets. If the reachable sets in the IAU computed post linearization are encoded by genotopes, then we get an intersection of union of genotopes approximation of the reachable set of the nonlinear system. This leads us to a new separate presentation called intersection of unions of genotopes. In a computer, an IAU of genotopes is encoded by a matrix of genotopes such that the set of points encoded by the matrix is given by the intersection along the uh, rows of the matrix of the intersection along the columns of the matrix of the set of points encoded by each genotope. This IAU genotope represents a non-convex set. Hence, it is appropriate for reachability analysis of nonlinear systems because reachable sets of nonlinear systems tend to be non-convex. The steps for computing the forward reachable set of an IAU genotope after a small time elapse t are summarized here. We first compute a box approximation of the IAU genotope as an intersection of join of the box approximations of the constituent genotopes. Then we compute an optimized IAU encoding of the box approximation in order to reduce the linearization error. However, by over approximating the original IAU genotope by a box, we add wrapping error. In order to mitigate the wrapping error, we join the original IAU genotope with the optimized IAU encoding of the box of the IAU genotope. We compute the forward reachable set of JetNU by performing linearization around each constituent genotope in JetNU. But while computing, uh, while computing the linearization, we consider the region which is an intersection of the box approximation of JetIJ and the box approximation of the overall IAU genotope instead of considering JIJ alone. This reduces the linearization error. Cut. Okay. Okay. The above steps in the algorithm are highly parallelizable, so we can use multiple processes to boost the execution speed of the algorithm.
The advantage of this forward propagation algorithm is that it leverages the linearization accuracy of different optimized divisions instead of a single optimized division. It, uh, in this forward propagation algorithm, different unions complement each other in reducing the linearization error. Furthermore, uh, the algorithm can be highly parallelized. Next, we we'll move on to the experiments. We considered uh, three high dimensional systems. The first is a two car plant tool, which is uh, uh, described in the following uh, equations. The second one is a quadcopter uh, model. It is a 12 dimensional system, which was uh, published in the ARC workshop. We considered uh, larger initial angles and angular velocities than what was uh, considered in the uh, quadcopter uh, model in the ARC competition uh, in order to increase the linearization error. We considered a novel uh, example for unicycle platoon of four robots. In our first experiment, we wanted to show that using multiple optimal solutions gives higher accuracy than using a single optimal solution. So we considered an alternative algorithm uh, where we replace a single objective function in our algorithm and show the multiple objective function. And the single objective function is defined as uh, the infinity norm of the normalized linearization error. In our second experiment, we compared with uh, the state-of-the-art algorithms for nonlinear reachability analysis, which include uh, conservative linearization, polynomial genotopes, and tailwind models. Uh, the tailwind model was implemented in Flowstar, and conservative linearization and the polynomial genotope were implemented in the Cora tool. Here are the results for uh, the Carl Platon example. Uh, the line in blue shows the IAU genotope implementation, while uh, the other graphs are the implementations of other approaches. Clearly, the uh, accuracy of IAU genotope is much higher than other approaches. In particular, we see that IAU genotope perform much better than using uh, a single objective optimization. So you, this means that using multiple objective functions can give better accuracy than using a single uh, objective function. Similarly, in the case of quadcopter as well, uh, the IEO genotope with multiple objective functions performs better than other approaches. Even in the case of uh, a unicycle platoon, the IEO approach outperforms other approaches. So uh, this IEO algorithm establishes a new standard in reachability analysis of nonlinear systems. In in, exp in, in this experiment, we, the computation time of the IEO algorithm is comparable to other approaches because the IEO algorithm is highly parallelizable. Even though we are using multiple intersections in the IEU, which can increase the computational complexity, uh, still because the algorithm is parallelizable, so the computational time can be lowered by using multiple processes. In another experiment, we try to show that using multiple unions in the intersection increases the accuracy of the IEU algorithm. So we try to compute the minimum number of intersections of unions required to find the best possible box approximation of the IAU. So the number of the minimum number of intersections required are typically greater than uh, four in, in most of the time steps. So this shows that we require more than one intersection to find the best possible intersect, uh, 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 box approximation of the IU.